like the original for some reason. Yeah, I don't know what you're looking for. I mean, the original fight with him was over the stupid circumcision thing, you know, because he called it uh, penis murder or whatever the hell. He, I mean, he just completely exaggerated with a. I got seventeen thousand extra nerve endings, and you don't. Nah, 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 nah. Um, but whatever. Um, <laughs> you know, and then, so okay, so then we got over that fight, and and then that stupid asshole. I mean, I made he made a video about this, the whatever it was. Uh, I don't know what the hell it was about. It's about that stupid draw in Islam guy thingy. And, uh, I mean, I made a video where I basically said that Christians and Muslims should grow up and get over this, you know, iconing Bibles and people thing. And he sits there and converts it into some kind of like I was telling the people who were drawing Muhammad to grow up. And I wasn't even doing that in the video. And then he says, well, because you said it in stick ham, then he can bring the argument to the, well, anyway, I don't want to get the whole thing, but... Yeah, so we had a we had a little comment war, and that was just the end again. But it was just this, I mean, fuck him and his stupid bullshit accusations. I mean, he's not anti bullshit man. He's, you know, propaganda and straw man man. I think he interpreted your video because he watched the whole stick ham thing. I mean, even in the stick ham thing, do you think I was really that horribly unfair? I mean, all I said was, is I'm not going around drawing pictures of Muhammad. That's not exactly my definition of an intelligent argument. I mean, I'm not going to have a cartoon war. No, but I know you said that the people who participate in this are immature, and then the video was titled Grow Up something day, so he assumed that you were talking about all the people who participate in this. Well, I know, but is that fair to assume when I didn't do that in the video, when I clearly, I'm clearly ragging on the dumb, ignorant, religious fuckers in the video, and I'm clearly telling them to grow up, so what the fuck? It's, it's not a legit, I mean, and then he could have just said, I said, go watch the video in the comments. So I mean, I, I point out that that's not what the video says, and so and then, but he wants to he could, instead of just saying sorry, I overreacted. No, he just keeps arguing. Yeah, you know the thing. The thing with him is that uh, he. I mean, you know, he was like your biggest supporter. I mean, he still watches your video even if he's unsubscribed. But uh, he he kind of feels that you took him like one of your minions or something like that, which he's not. I mean, the the way you responded to him, you said, I have no use for you, so that just made him blow off. Well, I mean, that was when the argument was already over. I mean, by the time I'm, when I, when I say I have no use for you, guess what? <laughs> the argument's over. I mean, I'm already crushed, this, this, you're already smushed, you know, I've already done my little squish your icon thing. So, I mean, if that's when he's going to get pissed off, that's way too late. But I said that to Dorn. I mean, I say that's that's my when I say farewell to somebody. That's I either say, don't let the door hit your big fat ass on the way out, or I say, uh, you know, I no longer have any use for you. I actually uh, I missed your uh, video because I, I usually watch your videos on my way home uh, on the train and uh, I saw that you made one on that synthetic um, reproducing molecule or you know I don't know if it's want to call it a DNA molecule but um, did you have any uh, you know something on that you like to what was your thoughts on that by the way? Oh, yeah, my thoughts were we're fucking doomed because they gotta fucking lie and exaggerate about every goddamn thing that happens. I mean synthetic nothing. In the first place, I mean, it's just—it's stupid. It's just—I mean, to, and to associate it, to call it anything close to synthetic life is just moronic. Okay, what they created did not go out into the world and consume and reproduce. It didn't do any of that shit. Okay, they—they they just re they replaced the the bumper on a Model T Ford with a chrome one. I mean, it, this is this was just—I mean, it's good science, but it's just nowhere close to to inventing a reproducing machine. We didn't come close to doing that yet. So if they change the name instead of like synthetic life to new breakthrough in gene or cell reproduction or something like that, would you have been fine with it then? 
Yeah, and gene sequencing, gene, um, I don't know, I mean, replication, oh, I don't know, that's not the right word either. I mean, the fact that you can get a very crude cell to accept foreign DNA is no big surprise. Okay, I mean, we, we, sh we shove chromosomes from, like, you know, one human being into another human being's eggs. I mean, we've done this shit. Uh, you know, I mean, so this is, this, it's just not, none of it was miraculous in the first place. And none of it goes to the real fundamental thing of getting to this issue of how you, of, of what happened in history. Like, how do you, I mean, the DNA molecule is really cool in that, yes, when you split it in half, it'll, it'll make a new half. Okay, so the DNA is like a frog or something. You cut its arm off, it grows a new arm. So that's pretty damn cool. But that in itself cannot go out into the world and consume and reproduce. So it has to somehow create some machines associated with it that can create a structure that allows it to consume and then reproduce again. So I mean there's something, I'm just saying that there's another step in here and that step is really important and they just kind of negated that. I think one and all had a pretty good argument a few uh, weeks back where he said that um, Let's be careful not to uh, impose our human values onto uh, na nature and things like that. And um, it, 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 the lines do seem to get blurry with the zero something. Did you cut your hair? What the fuck? <laughs> You're confusing me. Um, yeah, well, blurry lines. So what? Um, you know, I, I just. Let's see. I mean, it's not human values. I mean, what we got to project on life is just this realistic thing that it's consumption and reproduction. I mean, life is a, you know, it's an insidious little monster, a living thing. And if some other living thing actually could be created or did create itself on this planet, then we'd have a, a different perception of what life is because all of a sudden that life would be a threat to our life. Well, not necessarily, because evolution is fluid by uh, its very nature. I mean, that's the process of adaptation. Um, it's, it's not. I totally know, but we're we're much. really high on the food chain, so we're going to be the first ones picked off. Come on, you got to admit, we're the real complicated, delicate. Uh, you know, we're not crocodiles. So you know, if something ever attacks this biosphere, we're the we're like one of the weaker links. We're going down. I do it a ton. I don't know, whatever. But anywho, yeah, well, anyway, I'm just saying it was just horrible exaggeration. I mean, they, they, you know, I mean, even their, their DNA, their synthetic DNA really wasn't f fake. It was just re-randomized. I mean, so they really just took DNA and just, you know, they just shuffled the deck. It's the same deck of cards they put back in the damn thing. I was actually uh, found it quite uh, interesting that a lot of people that watched your response videos on the Drake equation, the Pyro, or Pyro, whatever, however you pronounce it, that they were actually trying to make an argument that you were making an argument towards intelligent design, and I didn't see that at all. And I guess it's all what your perception is and how you look at it, but, um, yeah, I, I really didn't understand why a lot of people were saying, oh, well, he, Gary's supporting an intelligent design, and that really wasn't what I got out of it. I speak as all everybody's a fucking moron. There's there's morons everywhere. I mean, every fucking video is a fucking morons, and some of them are in this room. Dusty. I never saw the video. Uh, with the guy, you know, talking about uh, the synthetic life thing. So I don't know, I mean, do they make this like a um, um, problem of morality or something? 
Because I mean, all I all I got to read was that uh, you know they they managed to create this uh, <laughs> like bacteria.